क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी सेवन देर आर थ्री डिस्टिंग प्राइम नंबर डिस्टिंग मीन डिफरेंट प्राइम नंबर सम इज ऑल्सो प्राइम नंबर If you are adding these three prime numbers, you should should get another prime number as a sum. And the question is asking, what are those three prime numbers? So it's a value based question. You need to find out what are those three prime numbers, three numbers. And there are two statements. So I'm going to start with statement one. So statement one says that their sum is less than twenty three. So I'm going to list down all the prime numbers less than twenty three, starting with two, which is the only even prime number. Then you have three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, nineteen. So these are the prime numbers less than twenty-three. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use trial and error method to figure out which combination of these three. Like I'm going to find out okay which all three prime numbers, adding them up will give you another prime number which is less than twenty-three is going to be in the list, right? So you start with two. Two is the only uh, even prime number, right? So imagine if I'm adding, if let's say one of the number is two, which is an even number, and the remaining other prime numbers are odd. Okay. Do you think the result is going to be odd? If you use the the odd even properties, if you're adding an even number plus odd number, the result is going to be odd. Okay. And again, if you're adding an odd number with another odd number, the result is always going to be even. So here, as per the question, it's given that the sum is also a prime number. The sum is definitely going to be an odd prime number, right? So here, if two is there in our list, the sum is going to be an even number, which is not possible. So from that, we can confirm that two is not in our list. Okay. So you can you can take an example. See, if I'm adding, you can see. Let's say if I'm adding two. Plus the next prime number I'm taking it as three plus five. What is the sum here? Two plus three is five. Five plus five is ten, which is an even number that will not be a prime number. For that reason, two is not going to be in our list. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try out different combinations here. Okay. I don't need to consider two here. I can eliminate two from the list. The remaining possibilities I'm going to start with three. One of the number is three. Other one is five. I'm going to start with the smallest numbers, okay, three and five. Then here it can be seven, okay. I can. I'm just trying out different combinations: three, five, seven, or three, five, eleven, or three, five, thirteen, or three, five, seventeen. I'm going to check whether the sum is a uh, prime number or not, less than twenty-three or not. Okay, three plus five is eight. Eight plus seven is a uh, fifteen. Uh, Which is not a prime number, so I don't need to consider this case. Three plus five is eight. Eight plus eleven is nineteen, which is also a prime number. So this is one of the possible scenario. Next one, three plus five is uh, eight. Eight plus thirteen is twenty-one, which is not a prime number. Eliminate. Three plus five is eight. Eight plus seventeen is twenty-five. Again, not a prime number. Again, the sum is greater than twenty-one. Twenty-three. So I don't need to consider any other combination, okay? So starting with the three and five, this is the only combination I could get. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sticking to three here, okay? So instead of five, I'm going to take the next possible prime number, which is seven, okay? And here in the third number, I don't need to take any number less than seven because I already consider that here, okay? What I'm going to consider here is only the prime numbers greater than seven in the Third slot, because all of the combinations here I have already tried it, tried it down. Okay, so three seven the next prime number possible is eleven. The sum is three plus uh, seven is ten. Ten plus eleven is twenty one, which is not a prime number. Okay, so I don't need to do that. So next is three seven and the next prime number is thirteen, which is equal to twenty three, which is actually a prime number. But the condition is the sum is less than twenty three. For that reason, I don't need to consider this. Again, there is no point in considering any other prime number greater than thirty. The sum is going to be greater than twenty. For that reason, these two also eliminated. Now I'm going to try out the last possibility. What What if if it start with uh, five? Okay. What if it start with five? Because I don't need to continue with a three because the sum is definitely going to be greater than twenty three. If I start with let's say three, the next prime number instead of seven, if I'm taking eleven, 
the next prime number has to be 11 so which is only 13 definitely greater than 23 i don't need to consider this case yeah now what what if if it start with 5 next prime number is 7 12 uh what if uh, next is 11 what is the sum 5 plus 11 is uh, 12 12 plus uh, uh, 11 is 23 you are getting the sum 23 should not be in the list again there is no point in proceeding further the sum will be let's say 5 7 any other prime number you take here other than 11 greater than 11 the sum has to be greater than 23 will not be in your list okay so that's it so using trial and error method we just got only one combination here that satisfy the condition so that means you are able to get those values of these three numbers what are the three numbers based on statement one it could be three five and eleven okay that's only possibilities so statement one is actually sufficient to answer the question okay statement one is actually sufficient to answer the question you're getting those three numbers three five and eleven so at this stage you could eliminate option c and d the so two options elimination because you don't need to combine it because why when we do combine the statements is only if you prove that statements individually are not sufficient here statement one alone is sufficient so there is no point in combining both of them okay so option c as well as option d is eliminated now what i'm going to do is i'm going to check using statement two alone whether it's sufficient to answer the question okay i'm going to check that statement two alone it's given that one of the number is five there is no other condition given right one of the number is five other two could be any other prime number and there is no condition for the sum sum can be any prime number sum can be any prime number so that means there are multiple scenarios possible if you analyze statement one there was the condition the sum is less than 23 if i'm using statement two alone i cannot use this condition right only information we have is one of the number is five so definitely other numbers could be there are multiple combinations right so i'm just saying i'm, I'm going to give you an example let's, let's say you can take the same three five and eleven this is one possibility we're getting some is nine what about this five seven and eleven yeah this is also possible right five plus eleven is uh, twelve 12 plus 11 is 23. This is also possible because there is no restriction. It could be any uh, prime number as a sum. That's it. So there are multiple combinations possible. So I just showed you two of them, right? That's enough. If you're getting multiple answers, that is that means this statement is not sufficient to answer the question. So statement two alone is not sufficient to answer it. So your answer is option A is the right answer for the question. Option A means the question can be answered using one of the statement alone but cannot be answered using the other statement alone.